Hi everyone. Welcome to the Preston Coton Studios. I am alongside sports editor James Simbrick. This is Jeremy Hoyk. We have a new feature for you guys. We're calling it Ask Yankton Sports. Uh, we've been um, asking people questions on, on Twitter at hashtag Ask Yankton Sports. Um, in lieu of our weekly sports chat, which will be returning every Wednesday starting in August, um, but in, you know, in the summertime there's a little bit more freedom. So we're going to try something new and see how this goes. We had a couple people ask us some questions, and James and I will touch on those and, and kind of go from there. All right, and the, our first question for this week comes from Ron Miller. Uh, soccer and football, more or less popular uh, 10 years ago versus today. Uh, not necessarily comparing them to each other, but uh, in each on their own. Uh, first off, soccer, I'd have to say, with the reaction we've seen with this year's World Cup, that uh, soccer, uh, at least on a national scale, has really grown. Yeah, I mean, I would agree. Of the two, soccer is um, is growing. I mean, people always, um, and we know this in Yankton, people always go to the youth participation numbers, and we know that in Yankton they're certainly steadily increasing. Um, uh, you know, without, you don't want to compare it to football. Football, I don't know that, but I would imagine you're seeing more of these junior leagues, but that the decline might be slowly, um, the participation level might be slowly declining with football. And I think part of that you're seeing is the the nervousness uh, because of injuries. I mean, you There's have injuries issue. in soccer, but you don't have concussions. I mean, concussions are the big one that, right. that a lot of people are looking at. Right. And I think you're starting to see people drift away from what was traditionally the big sports, your uh, I, football, uh, drift away from football towards what's a less contact sport in right. soccer. Right, and especially at the at the lower level as we see, um, there's not a lot of contact. As you get further along, obviously there's more contact oh, at yes. the college level, high school level. Obviously we saw that in the World Cup, there's a lot of contact. Some of it actual contact, some of it just falling to the ground, but uh, so to me, I, would, I mean, I would agree with you that, uh, you know, I don't want to compare the two, but of, fo of the two, football is, to me, declining because of the safety issues, and soccer, um, there's less of a concern there, and we're seeing that with the World Cup. I think that's where he, mm -hmm. the, the, the reason he's asking this question is because of the World Cup. Um, so to me, soccer, it will continue to grow. And in the United States, there's still plenty of room for it to grow, so, right. so that, I mean, it hasn't reached the 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 weekly sensation that the NFL is. I don't know if it ever will, but right. but there's a lot of room room for growth. And I don't think soccer necessarily needs to try to crack football, basketball, baseball. I mean, hockey to some extent. So you know, and you could probably add a fifth one in there. But of the top three, um, you're you're not going to to crack the top three. And I don't think you should try. But if you can slowly. Um, you know the MLS is a good example. There, you know the crowds are getting bigger, the attendance mm -hmm. figures. There's more of a, there's more exposure. It's on oh, national, yeah. it's on ESPN national TV, so there's more exposure to soccer now. All right, our next question comes to us from Daniel Doyle. Any updates on USD uh, men's basketball recruiting for 2014? Uh, I was hoping that we would get a USD question there, <laughs> but um, yeah, Daniel's a good follower, and, and him and Ron are both really uh, loyal followers. Um, we kind of touched on this last time. That, uh, the latest update on USD men's basketball recruiting that uh, that I heard from the coaching staff was obviously we all know the five that they've added, um, the three transfers, and two high school seniors who did graduate, so will be freshmen this season. Um, the two the the transfers, Siku Harris, everybody's heard that one, point guard. Um, James Hunter, we you and I were interested in that one because he's the center from Washington State, graduated with his undergrad coming to USD, so there's that, you know, that you're starting to see more schools take advantage of that, where there's, they get an extra year for grad school. Um, James Hunter, the third transfer would be that Trey Burnett, the guy from up in North Dakota, Williston State. So they're adding, they wanted to add some experience, because you have to help, you know, if you're Craig Smith, you wanted some immediate help. You don't mm -hmm. want to get five freshmen and have to spend a year developing, you know what I mean? So they're yeah. not going to want to take a step back. And uh, to clarify, it's not that he gets an extra year of eligibility, but he doesn't have to sit a year because right. a, a normal transfer requires that you sit one year by NCAA rules, but they put in a provision where if you have graduated from, uh, if you have your undergraduate degree and your choice of master's, uh, master's study is not offered at the at institution school. you're at, you may transfer and play one year without 
or and actually it's however many years you have left, sure. you can play without having to sit that year. And that's the same rule that USD football used with Jared Bryant, the kid from Arizona State, and he was invited to an NFL camp, so that's the, it's the same situation. Um, the, la the last Craig told me was that they're looking to add another, to answer your question, Daniel, they're trying to get one more kid in, um, you know, that don't know any names, don't know any locations. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a trans. I would imagine it's a transfer, but um, Craig intimated that they're looking at a potentially another big. Um, I don't have anything else on that. Um, he said, hopefully, I mean, obviously, hopefully, fairly soon by the end of July. I would imagine because they're, they're going to come back to school in August. So, yeah. um, so probably looking at six newcomers, and that would tell you that there are some kids that are leaving the program, which there are. There are mm -hmm. three, you know, two or three, four maybe that are leaving the team or won't be back. I should say so. And speaking of USD, they announced their Hall of Fame class today. Uh, a couple of uh, former Kyle men's basketball players, Ben Reese, Nate Tibbetts. Tibbetts uh, both are now in coaching. Ben's at uh, Norfolk High School. Mm -hmm. Nate Tibbetts is on the uh, bench for the Portland Trail Blazers. Mandy Copel, uh, who is coming uh, is coming back to the area. She's going to coach in her hometown of Wagner. Mm -hmm. Josh Stammer, great football player from the early 2000s. Molly Woodell Radigan, uh, great distance runner, and Justin Devlin, who is a, an out, outstanding uh, swimmer. Right, and uh, James was joking with me before we taped this that uh, these Hall of Fame class inductees are getting <laughs> more and more recent. Um, so James probably covered yeah, at least. Yeah, I covered all the, all these kids because <laughs> the gradu I mean the graduations are from from two thousand to two thousand four. So right. So that I mean, that is definitely right in the middle of my. Uh, my uh, tenure here. And uh, there's certainly, you know, that would be really interesting if they could get um, all these guys back to campus. Some of them are more regional, but um, that would, I think that'd be, that would be really neat to see a Nate Tibbetts again. Um, Andy Copel's obviously back in Wagner. Um, so you got a lot of, there's yeah. a lot of uh, professional, um, there's a lot of professional coaches and athletes on this list, so that would be kind of mm -hmm. neat. All right, that, uh, that about does it for this week. Uh, We'd love to answer a lot more questions, but this is all we have for the, this week. So, uh, so tweet at us uh, at uh, with the uh, hashtag Ask Yankton Sports, and we'll collect them uh, till about Wednesday afternoon and uh, come up, uh, get on camera, answer a couple questions, and uh, and hopefully uh, keep you uh, interested. For Jeremy Hoyt, I'm James Simbrick.